Everybody put your hands up, put your hands in the air like this. Go down. Now give me your wallets. No, I'm kidding. Right? No. He was doing so well, then he robbed us. How odd is that? All right, put your hands up again. Go like this. Now go like this. Go like this. Reverse your thumbs like this. What does that feel like? Strange, weird, odd. This is what change feels like. If we stood here just like this for the next two hours, we'd learn two very valuable lessons. Number one is we have nothing really happening in our lives, got nothing going. <laughs> the second thing we'd notice is we'd start to feel about the same after a while. Why is that? Because change is not the problem. It's resistance to change that's the issue. It's our personal resistance. My dad is 78 years old and on the computer every day. My dad is a computer expert at 78 years old. Now, three years ago, he wasn't. Three years ago, he sent me his very first email. My dad sent me his very first email. <laughs> it just said, damn it. That was, that was <laughs> but last Christmas, my dad bought all of my family's presents online. Of course, he bought me a nightgown. I don't know a chainsaw, but he's 78 years old. My dad knows that action and adaptability create opportunity. That action and adaptability create opportunity. You know why they start that way? Because they know that the reason that nobody wants to change is because nobody wants to be a senior beginner. Nobody wants to wake up in the morning and realize what they've learned, what they know, is no longer valid. So if you tell people that they're going to lose their value and lose their expertise, they'll cling to the old way no matter what. So we look at the top performers and how they got people to change. And here's the issue with change. Most people go, look, here's the old way that you're doing and here's the new way we want to talk about. The new way is new. That's why they call it the new way. And it's better and faster and cheaper and lemon fresh and whatever it is, right? That's what they say. And then what do the people say? I don't care. I'm, I'm old school. I like old stuff. I'm, I want it old. I'm old. I like old stuff. I'm just an old person. I like to put the you know, white out on the computer screen. I'm just an old person. I don't care. So we looked at the top 1% and how were they able to get people to change, and it was completely different. They started off with the old way. You've been doing this for 20 years or 10 years or whatever it is.